Hi, my name's Mike, and I just want to say that 14 years old is a crap age to be. It's around this age parents start to push the idea of you learning some responsibility. You're too old for pocket money, but too young for any kind of proper job, so what can you do? I've given up my lanes for the next couple of years and resorted to being a morning paper boy. That 364 freezing cold, back aching delivery rounds a year, starting at 6.30am. All this for £12 a week. Surely this would be illegal at any other age. Mike, isn't it? Uh, yeah. I'm Danny. Take it replacing that Brian kid. Yeah. So what's your first couple of days been like? Uh, pretty adventurous to say the least. I've been knocked on my back twice now, being caught off guard by this massive dog. That sounds more like a bear. I've also got some strange man who insists on answering the door in his pants. Hello, boy! Hello, boy. Tight, tight pants. Yeah, I've seen the pants man a couple of times when I've covered you around. I don't think it belongs on the register or nothing like that. I think he's one of those blokes that's overly comfortable getting naked, getting changed, or farting around other men. Yeah. i got to say, though, mate, three days in, I can already tell this job's going to be soul destroyed. That Sunday round was just ridiculous. I had to put deep heat to my shoulder and lie down when I got home. I don't think I'm going to hack this for £12 a week. Mate, £12 is just your surface pay for what you do out there. It's what you do in here that makes your job worthwhile. In here? Yeah, you just haven't realised your potential yet. Beryl, can I have a chocolate bar, please? Of course you can, my angel. Just don't take the piss. <laughs> oh, so you get free chocolate? My friend, that's just the tip of the iceberg. Today is going to be your second first day. Confectionery is considered low risk. You can get away with a few chocolate bars or drinks here or there. Help yourself, but pick your moments. Don't get seen taking a proverbial. Now, next level is a magazine record, which I'm quite partial to. Not all mags are of interest. Your hot topics are your music and gaming mags. And when you're good enough, there's the top shelf selection. The porn can be sold at school, fiver per mag. But it's been in decline recently because you can get it all online now. But there's always kids suffering the perils of parental controls, or who have been cut off for one reason or another and need a quick fix. Well, the only perk that can earn you real money these days, though, is fags. And you've got to be on a whole nother level of proof there. Isn't this a bit much, mate? It seems like you guys are robbing this place blind. Belle doesn't give two shits, Mike. Honestly, this isn't even her place. She's looking after it for someone she doesn't even like. I swear, even she's on the take. I've seen her selling duty frees from behind the counter. So she's making money from imported fags? Where do you think AD got the idea from? AD. Short for Adrian. He's 16 and almost finished school. A self-centred Cockney Aussie hybrid. Hybrid? Yeah, sounds like a cross between Chopper and the Artful Dodger. He's got a monopoly on a snout racket and he doesn't want anyone screwing it up. If he's 16, then why is he still doing a paper round? He could get a proper part-time job. Please, the perk's making more money than any part-time job any 16-year-old could get. You just don't realise how good this guy is. I remember one day during a summer break, he scooped a load of 20 decks from the fax stand while Beryl was actually serving a customer. His method is just downright ballsy, so you would never assume he was doing it right under your nose. He's done some great ones over time. Seriously, it's like art. How does he not get caught? This place does have CCTV. Yeah, but he runs on a tape system that gets recorded over every 30 days. And if there's no particular incident, Beryl never checks it. This is also reinforced by the fact that AD is Beryl's blue-eyed boy. She knows his mum. And she's known AD since knee height, so in her eyes, he can do no wrong. And he obviously plays with him, Jimmy Gibb. Alright, lads? Yeah. Want any fags? No thanks, AD. That you, new boy? No, I'm alright, thanks. Danny, you about jumping ships playing in town this weekend? Really? They're my favourite band. Yeah. See, there's this event going on in town sponsored by one of the local companies. The guy who runs it, knows the singer's folks. So he got them to perform. If you collect tokens from the local rag, 
you get to see him stateside and meet him afterwards. I've only been collecting tokens for the last week, but there's a few of them on my round. Take the local, so I half inch theirs. How many do you need? <laughs> Mate, if you haven't started collecting yet, you ain't got much chance of catching up. Especially as, what, three people on your round collect the local? You'll be missing out on this one, mate. Don't worry, I'll get a pig for you. <laughs> Piss on my kitchen floor. Hey? He ain't coming in. Seems James's rich dad has decided to whisk him away on some rich boy's holiday and left me in the shit pan with me round. Um, Mike, love. Yeah. Would you like to earn some extra cash? Uh, I mean, I haven't been living here for long and I don't know the round and... Uh, and uh, Does any of Rich Boy's customers take the local paper? Oh, uh, yeah, quite a few as I remember rightly. Don't worry, Bill, he'll do it. I'll give him all the info. You can tell us. Lovely. That's that sorted then. Why'd you do that? Oh, come on, mate. What did I tell you about potential? Look, if we cover this round together this week, that's £7.50 each. Plus, I've got a chance of catching up to AD since a lot of the toffs buy the local rack. It's no sweat. We'll do your round first because it's nearest. I'll take Rich Boys so we can follow on from there and we both come back to here so we can get mine sorted. Okay. Right. Observe, grasshopper. Come on. <laughs> nice and easy. See you later, Beryl! <laughs> Bye, love! Spend, spend all your money on this A ride for a kiss A lack of insecurity Yeah, and you can believe these tweets cost up handsomely at Christmas time. James is a lucky bastard. Where else would he do this trick every morning? Whoa. Look at this place. Yeah. Rook's Nest House. We need to deliver here. Come on. The guy who lives here runs a big aerospace company over the industrial area. He did a tour that I thought. These Danny? Danny? What are you doing? Danny? Danny? Hey mate, there's crates and crates of booze in there. Fucking loads of it. This tweet has stopped up nicely. But we can sneak away a few crates without being noticed. Oh. Nah, no, I don't know mate. We've been gone ages already. We we better get back to the shop. Beryl's gonna grow a beard. Grow a beard? Anyway, I thought you wanted the perks. Look, rich people don't even know when their shit gets taken because they've got so much of it. have got no chance of getting caught. Absolutely none. And maybe we can sell some to AD. Oh, come on, look. Let's just grab some, head back. Oh, and remind me to get some of the tokens off the customers on my round. Okay, come on. I do apologise, sir. We're, we're a little short staffed today, so things are running a little behind. Y yes, yeah, I do apologise. It won't be long now, okay? Yes, yeah, it won't be long now, Mr. Jenkins. They'll be back any time. Yeah, yeah. 
yeah, they'll be with you. Your paper will be with you in no time. Okay? Bye. Bye. Oh, oh those little shits. That was a complete fail. True, but at least we didn't get caught. Well, win a few, lose a few. Come on, let's get back to the shop so we can get my wrap. I would like a refund, please. Look at this paper. Look at the state of it. Look, we've been through this before. We can't be responsible for your dog tearing your newspaper to shreds. But it's your bastard paper boy teasing the dog with the paper and getting him all wound up! That dog has been professionally trained to bring that paper upon delivery. Really? Well, you can shit in a box and send it to someone who cares, because you ain't having a refund. Your dog, your responsibility. Shit. Well, my second first day, as Danny called it, actually managed to be worse than my first day. While I may have found a new friend in Danny, I have a feeling continuing said friendship could mean more trouble for the future. This great idea was flawed by the fact that rich people can afford CCTV for their big houses with sheds full of booze, so we were caught red-handed. When he turned up at the shop, he was bringing a copy of the footage to show Beryl. Although we came close, we didn't lose our jobs. But we did have to pay for the two quaint of beer and dram booey we attempted to steal, as well as a week's worth of papers for the house. So effectively, my first week as a paper boy was worked for free. Nice going, dickheads. I've been lumbered with rich boys round since matey Rook's Nest won't allow you two kids to deliver there again. You bought that job up good and proper, didn't ya? Oh, these both look like prize bell ends on that video. You've seen the video? Of course. Bell showed it to me. Best part is, I was videoing it on the sly with me phone. Be a nice little present to the whole school from both of yous. <laughs> wankers, 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 wankers. Shit.